Italy is home to a remarkable and diverse range of sparkling wines, and one of the premier regions for bubbly is Franciacorta, located about an hour's drive east of Milan in northern Italy's Lombardy region. But what makes Franciacorta different from Italy's other sparkling wines? I'm Wine Spectator, Restaurant Awards Director Cassia Shifter, and joining us today to tell us more about Franciacorta is Wine Spectator Senior Editor Alison Napius. Hi, Alison. Hi, Cassia. There's a lot to love about the traditional method sparkling wines of Franciacorta. The region's two primary grape varieties, Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, excel in this small historic area. Sparkling wine production in Franciacorta didn't really take off until the 1960s, but winemaking here is a millennia old tradition. How did this area evolve into the sparkling wine hotspot it is today? Well, it all starts with the soils. More than 10,000 years ago, a retreating glacier carved out the geological amphitheater now occupied by the French Corta region. That glacier left behind a diverse range of soils, from fine grain silt to loamy sand and clay to gravel and stone, all well suited to grape growing. French Corta also enjoys a Mediterranean climate that yields round and approachable sparkling wines that are fresh and focused. But for thousands of years, still wine was the primary focus here from the Roman Empire to the Middle Ages to Napoleon's reign, when there were about 2,500 acres of vineyards. The French Accorta region earned official designation in 1967, and in 1995, it was elevated to DOCG status. Today, there are nearly 8,000 acres of vineyards in French Accorta, planted at an average of 750 to 800 feet above sea level and producing about 1.3 million cases a year. However, with about 90% of French Accorta's wine production consumed in Italy, you'll have to seek out these exciting sparkling wines, but they're worth the effort. You mentioned Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, but those aren't the only grapes permitted in Franciacorta, right? Correct. Chardonnay is the dominant grape here. By a wide margin, it represents about 80% of the total vineyard acreage in the area. About 15% of the vineyards are dedicated to Pinot Noir, and almost all of the rest is Pinot Blanc. Very recently, a late ripening, high acid indigenous variety named Herbamat was also approved for French Accorta production. For French Accorta, the grapes are harvested by hand and fermented in steel or wood tanks to produce still wines, known as base wines. The following spring, the base wines are blended and that blend is bottled, with the secondary fermentation occurring in bottle, followed by at least 18 months aging on the lees. In addition to the French Accorda designation, other categories to watch for are French Accorda Satin, Rosé, Vintage, and Reserva. What differentiates those? French Accorda Satin is equivalent to a Blanc de Blanc fruit, made exclusively with the white grapes Chardonnay and Pinot Blanc, and aged on the lees for a minimum of two years. French Accorda Rosé must be at least 35% Pinot Noir, and it's also aged a minimum of two years on the lees. The vintage dated, or millisimato bottlings, are aged at least 30 months on the lees, and reservas are vintage dated French Accordas that have aged for at least five years. French Accorda is especially successful with higher acidity styles with low or no dosage or dosaggio zero, a sparkling wine trend that I'm particularly fond of because the wines pair so well with food. They're perfect with seafood and shellfish and especially sushi, oven roasted fish, or the Lombardy region's famous risottos. The French Accorda region is also a leader in sustainability. French Accorda wine producers adhere to strict limits on pesticide use, with more than two thirds of the region's vineyards farmed organically to maximize soil biodiversity. The French Accorda consortium also conducts regular carbon footprint assessments. Well, you were right, Alison. There's a lot to love in a glass of French Accorda. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.